Hey everybody, welcome back, and here we have kind of a rough mock-up of our cockpit. So basically what I did is, uh, in the forums, um, I posted a link to a website that um, had basically full-scale drawings of uh, F-16 uh, cockpits. Um, you can choose the block numbers and whether it's an F-16C or A or all that fun stuff. But anyways, what I did is I went into Photoshop and I scaled it down to um, the approximate size. Um, I came to this size, which is uh, just about perfect. So um, this isn't actually the um, final product, um, but basically what I plan on doing is uh, taking a lot of the uh, two-dimensional elements and uh, adding some three-dimensional elements to that. So what do I mean by that exactly? Well, all right. If we go to the side here you can see the illusion is destroyed so but uh, basically what I'm gonna do is cut out or actually print out um, several different copies of this exact same thing so then I can take an individual element like let's say we were gonna do the screens here all right well Obviously, I, I printed this out on uh, glossy paper, and if you look at a real F-16, um, I'm going to post that on the forum as well. Um, the picture that I'm uh, basing this off of, um, you'll see that uh, there's really not a lot of glossy to it. But our screens are glossy, and um, to kind of simulate the glass, I'm going to leave these... Uh, um, <clears throat> dials and everything um, glossy but um, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and and print another copy out um, I'll just spray that copy with some uh, dull um, or matte finish uh, clear paint um, and then I'm going to cut out this computer screen here just that edge around the outside so basically we're going to create some layers here um, there's some uh, thickness to the paper here and I think it's probably about right so um, <clears throat> I'm debating I'm either gonna go uh, three layers deep if I get really into it so basically the um, next layer would be the buttons and basically that'll give it uh, some depth so um, so basically our first layer would be the computer screen. Then I'd uh, cut out on another one of the pictures that I print out the um, outside of the screen. And then the third layer would be the individual buttons. Now they're pretty small. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Um, I'm hoping that the illusion is uh, kind of good enough that we won't need to. But um, that's kind of the plan. So, And then by mixing the glossy with the matte finish and... Uh, and then having the raised and lowered panels, I think uh, we'll get like a mixture of <clears throat> textures and um, everything in there to make it look uh, pretty convincing. So, all right. So the other thing that I'll need to do is um, <clears throat> paint the inside of this, um, the hood, the cockpit hood there, um, black. Um, well, actually, this whole top part is black, and then I'll just paint the inside black, the underside here. Um, now, the other 3D elements that we're going to add... <clears throat> All right, um, this will be kind of hard to demonstrate, but... Okay, if you look right um, there, right in the middle of the screen there, um, right above... Oh, just where it went out of focus anyways that is actually like a little readout and then there's your uh, warning lights on the right side there you can just see little glimpses of red well <clears throat> on the real plane um, and you'll want to reference back the picture that I'm posting on the forum here but so basically what we do so this will be another 3d element so that right there I'll paint that black and that'll go on the side this is just a scrap piece of balsa and then I'll um, glue the picture of the hazard lights on the front there um, like I said these are all just little boxes same thing with that uh, display that I was just uh, talking about earlier here that will be it's hard to do with one hand here well, anyways so that'll go up there or something like that and then I'll put the uh, picture of the readout on there. So 
basically by combining the 2D and 3D elements in there uh, we'll get it looking pretty good. Now um, this would probably be good to go for you know just about you know anybody but um, I, I guess the way I look at it is uh, I spent a lot of money on this and um, I guess I just want to take that extra step so um, yeah um, oh <clears throat> one more thing if you look at the picture there's like a um, uh, a side kind of little um, like a shade panel right here so I can make those out of uh, paper very easily um, so take a look at that but I'll, I'll put that in there or incorporate that as well um, the other thing that you'll notice is look how far off this is um, this none of this will be able to be used so what I'm gonna do um, this was the same thing they had to do in um, the F-16 down under forum on uh, I believe it was RC Universe but uh, we're gonna have to cut it right there and then just uh, scooch everything back um, since this was just our first draft you can see where our little air hose plugs in um, is half cut off so I was just basically doing all this for the size um, <clears throat> I don't know exactly how I'm going to do these little knobs um, that are to the left and the right of that dial there, um, the little gray knobs, but um, I'll see what we can uh, work out because those are pretty tiny. So, uh, so you can see my little knuckle right there. That's that's how big we're dealing with here. Um, so anyway, sorry I got off track, but back to this. We're going to have to cut that off because uh, if I put this in right now, Yeah, it looks pretty cool and everything lines up and it goes to the seat, but uh, <laughs> you can kind of notice the problem here. These, this flange is supposed to line up with that right there. So you can see if I had actually built this as per the instructions, this cockpit and all this uh, detail and everything would be sunk back. Gosh, that's a probably a good uh, half to three quarter inch right there. Um, it just wouldn't have been very realistic. So, anyways, we want uh, we want the air hose to come right up uh, right up to the seat there. So, and that'll be pretty darn close. So, anyway, just want to let you know where I was at. Um, I'm gonna attempt my uh, my method here to do the layering and kind of see how it works out. Now, I've I've never done this before, so this is just um, ideas that I'm throwing out there. It could be a complete disaster, but. Uh, so I don't want you guys to think I'm uh, talking out of experience here, but um, it seems like it'd be a good, cheap way to um, to do this. So, anyways, oh, and uh, if you guys want to take a look, um, there's a guy that posted a comment. Um, sorry, I forgot your name um, on RC Universe that uh, makes cockpits out of. Um, he uses a 3D printer now. Um, I was looking online to see how much uh, 3D printers costs and. Uh, most of them are about 14 grand, so um, be a while before I get my money back on that. So um, we're going to go the low tech way here. So anyway, so um, I'll give you a kudos here in the video as soon as I uh, figure out uh, what your name was. But um, yeah, look up his stuff; it's pretty impressive. So. Anyways, uh, that's it for right now. Just want to let you know where we were at and what we are doing. And uh, I haven't done much with the pilot or any of this stuff. So um, I was mainly just focusing on the cockpit right now. So, all right. See you guys in the next video.